Hello friends, this video on triangles part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from a similar way AS says that two angles one side in this order angle angle side angle angle side these are corresponding by the same the triangles are common. Here also if you see these two triangles are same angles are same these third angle will also be same my angles are Okay, let's leave it A, B, C, A, B, F. Okay, you see, angle A is equal to 180 degree minus angle B plus angle C. And angle B is nothing but 180 degree minus angle D plus angle F. These are equals, this is only constant, so D will be equal to angle A. For sure. Right, all these three angles are equal, and this side is equal. Has to be covered. Okay, so now if this is true, we can actually apply the other rule, right? That is what we just saw. We can apply ASA angle side angle, right? So we can prove that this angle is equal to this angle. Now we see this angle, this side, this angle is equal, this angle, this angle, this angle. So by ASA, we can prove actually AS. Okay, just remember these terms. This as till now we have proved that SA SSS is true, ASA is true, and AAS is true. These three we have proved. In fact, SA also we have proved. It is possible. And the four congruency models. We have more models also. We will study about these later. So let's take some examples now. Line segment AB is parallel to another line CD. These two things are. AB is parallel to C. That means that this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle. Okay. O is the midpoint of AB. That means that this angle will be equal to this angle. So I have marked that 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. These two angles are equal, vertically opposite angle. I'm just marking these angles to be equal for my reference. So we have to prove that triangle AOB is similar to triangle BOC. So let's prove this. Okay. We are starting from A, OB, starting from B here, and then BOC. So we have to prove this. So let's see OAB. Where is OAB? OAB. OAB. This angle. And then angle ODC. ODC. You see, those are equal. Right? We are just seeing this, they are equal. AOB, that is AOB, AOB is equal to 3 marks. And then DOC, DOC is also equal to 3 marks. Okay? ABC, sorry, ABO, ABO with 2 marks. And then DC, DC equals 3. This is Little difficult to draw. So once you have drawn draw this, you're done. Okay. It is also told that O is the midpoint of AD. This AO is equal to OD. AO is this side, OD is this side. These sides are also equal. This is given. Now if you see, we can actually prove that by this angle side angle concept, these two triangles are common because you see angle side angle side angle all these three these two uh, triangles the corresponding angles side and angle is equal okay so if you just see if you just see that in triangle AOB and triangle BOC I can say that angle A is equal to angle D or I can actually say H E of angle A I can say that OAB is equal to angle OBC Okay, and these were equal y because they were quadrant angle. And then side AO is equal to BO, and this given O is midpoint of AD. And then other angle AOB, angle AOB is equal to angle DOC. Y was equal to 
particularly of China. Right, so these are, we just drew in rough to understand the problem, solve it, but now we are writing plain English. And that's how you solve any geometric question. First you understand, and then once you are convinced that you can prove it, then you can just write in plain English. So now, therefore, triangle A will be is congruent to triangle BOC by side angle side SAS. Angle side angle. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next is prove that O is the midpoint of BC. To prove O is the midpoint of BC, we have to prove that OC is equal to AB. Next is to prove that OC is equal to AB. Now, if you see these two sides, OC and OB, they are corresponding sides of these two triangles which are congruent. So we can say that. OC is equal to OB. And reason we can just say that since these triangles are congruent. And that's the proof. Correct? Pretty easy. So once you prove that these two triangles are congruent, you can easily prove that O is the midpoint of BC. That is, OC is equal to OB. If O is the midpoint of BC, this is the line BC, that means OC has to be equal to OB. Let's take this now. So it says that there is a quadrilateral A, C, B, D. That is given A, C, B, D. Please note, when you say A, C, B, D, you have to follow one order. And you should reach A, C, then B, and then D. A, C, B, D. A, C is equal to A, D. That is given A, B by 6, angle A. That means this angle will be equal to this angle. So we have to prove that angle A, B, C, and A, B, D are so best is you can pause this video now and just try to draw these triangles on your own. A, B, C in the clockwise anti-clockwise direction. So this was the first point I put A here and then B and then A. This is how you draw the triangle. Now we have to prove they are congruent. Let's see what are congruent given. So B A C is what? B A C is this angle. And B A D. And they are equal given. AD and AC are given equal. So AD and AC, they are equal given. And AB is the common side. So AB has to be equal to AD. So if you see, just when you have drawn this, you can say that side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So by SAS property, these two triangles are congruent. The only thing is you draw this. Once you draw this, you can make out that side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. These two triangles are congruent just by looking at the figure. The only thing is that you have to draw this figure and for this you need practice. Okay. Practice more and more then you can easily draw these two triangles. Now you can say that just writing plain English ABC and triangle ABD. You can say that AB is equal to AB by common side or you can say by construction. Okay, AC is equal to AD given and angle A both angle A. So Instead of saying angle A is equal to angle A, we will say that angle BAC is equal to angle BAD. Why? The reason is given that AB bisects angle A. So we just copy the same line. AB bisects angle A. So, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. Okay. Next is what can you say about BC and BD? Let's see BC and BD. So if you see they are corresponding sides of the congruent triangle, we can say that BC is equal to BD. That is the relationship between BC and BD. They are equal. Why? Because the triangles are congruent. Okay. Let's take a few more examples and I expect you guys to again pause the video and try to draw these uh, congruent triangles on your own and try to prove it on your own and then you can Play the video again to check if your solution is correct. So it says that ABCD, ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AD and BC are equal. If you see they are equal, 
एंगल डी ए बी एंड सी बी एर इक्वल एंगल डी बी एंड एंगल सी बी ए डी ए बी एंड सी बी एर दिस टू ट्राइंग दिस टू एंगल आर इक्वल ओके सो वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ट्राइंगल व्हाट एवर एंगल इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ड्रॉ दिस ट्राइंगल्स ट्राइंगल्स ए बी डी विल स्टार्ट विथ ए हियर ए देन बी बी एंड देन Next is triangle BAC. We will start with B and then AC. So we have to prove that these two triangles are. So let's see whatever is given. BAD, BAD is this triangle, and then and ABC, ABC is this triangle. They are equal given. This is equal given. Sides BC and AD are equal given. So this is BC and AD equal given. Let's see any common side AB, AB. Yes, we have two common sides AB. So now, just by looking at this, we can see that during side angle side they are congruent. Okay, so I can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC by side angle side. You can write that this side is equal to this side, this side is equal to this side, and this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, so let me write. B is equal to AB. Okay, angle BAD is equal to angle ABC, and AD is equal to BC. This is given. This is given. This is common side. Okay. Now this is triangle. So we are, now we have to prove that BD is equal to AC. So you can see BD is equal to AC. It has to be. So this is done. BD also equal to AC. Why? Corresponding sides. Sides of congruent triangles. Okay. So please note BD is equal to AC. BD is not equal to BC. Corresponding sides will be equal. Right. This side will be equal to this side. Next is angle ABD. ABD. This angle. And angle BAC. This also has to be equal. Corresponding angles. So I can say that angle ABD will be equal to angle BAC, and the reason is corresponding angles of congruent triangles. All right. So in this case, this angle will also be equal to this angle, and that's how it is. If two triangles are congruent, all the three corresponding sides, all the three corresponding angles, will be equal to each other. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.